Welcome back. Before we take a look at the day's business news, let's take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. And in our top business story, Dubai's new real estate auction website has attracted more than 1,300 properties with a value of 139 million dirhams, exceeding expectations, as according to the head of the land department. Sultan Bouti bin Merjan, director general of Dubai Land Department, was quoted as saying that eMart, which was launched in November, has already seen over 29,000 visitors. According to local reports, bin Merjan added that the site has already attracted over 150 real estate firms, 230 investors and more than 1,300 property units, with a combined value of 139 million dirhams. Earlier this month, Emart's first online property auction totaled sales of more than 74.5 million dirhams. The money was raised on the 11 residential and commercial properties on offer at the auction. Ben Marjan added, another pleasing aspect is that the visitors we are attracting to Emart represents a cross-section of various nationalities, with over 20,000 Emiratis, more than 2,500 Americans, 700 Britons and 500 Saudis, adding that there is also growing interest from buyers and sellers from India, Pakistan, Kuwait, Qatar, France, Germany, Russia, Canada and Japan, among many others. Some estimates suggest that real estate prices in prime areas in Dubai have risen by up to 30% in 2013 to date, after falling by over 60% from their 2008 peak. Real estate investors in the UAE are predicted to see returns of between 9 to 12 percent per year as the market continues to grow. That's according to a new report. A study by Taswik Real Estate Development and Marketing said the market offers robust growth potential in the coming months for the investor community. It added that the UAE real estate market will serve as a major magnet for local and international investors. The study also revealed that the contribution of the UAE real estate sector to the country's GDP will touch 111.4 billion dirhams by the end of 2013, which is expected to further surge to 118 billion dirhams by the end of 2014. The sector's contribution to GDP was 108.2 billion dirhams in 2012 and 99 billion dirhams in 2009, the report said. Masood Al-Awar, the CEO of Taswik, was quoted in reports as saying that the UAE real estate fundamentals is set for a steady uptrend in the next few months driving the overall optimism and growth potential on offer, thanks to the consistency and consolidation witnessed in the primary markets of Dubai and Abu Dhabi. In Dubai, Taswik said that the successful bid to host Expo 2020 will have a good payoff in terms of return on investment. Dubai-based property developer Select Group has announced its ninth residential Dubai Marina development. The 500 million dirhams project, entitled Number 9, is set for completion in March 2016, with pre-sales starting in January, according to a company statement. Select Group CEO Rahel Aslam was quoted in a local report as saying that the development occupies one of the last remaining waterside plots in Dubai Marina, neighbouring Grovner House, and undoubtedly providing a unique opportunity for investment. Comprising of one one, two and three bedroom apartments with four penthouse duplexes, the project will join Select Group's marina portfolio, including Torch, Bay Central and Botanica. Select Group said it is also near completion of two other projects in the marina. West Avenue, a 35-storey residential tower inspired by the architecture of Manhattan, is set for handover in Q2 2014 and Select's flagship five-star 320-room intercontinental Dubai marina will open its doors in Q4 2014. Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Manama and Mascat have all posted double-digit growth in revenue per available room or rev par for the year-to-date in local currency terms, according to new data revealed. According to local reports, the latest figures released by STR Global showed hotels in the UAE especially continued to perform strongly in November. Dubai's hospitality market posted the highest increase in average daily rates, or ADR, in the Middle East and North Africa last month, as it rose by 9.9% in ADR to $290.68. However, hotels in the Qatari capital of Doha saw ADR slump by 18% to $181.23, the region's largest ADR decrease. 
Manama was up 15.2% to $100.67. Dubai was up 12.7% to $254.18. And Abu Dhabi increased to 10.4% to $171.70, showing some of the best ref power rises during November. Regionally, the Middle East and North Africa reported mixed performance results during November, as the region posted a 1.7% decrease in occupancy to 64.6%, a 6.8% increase in ADR to $180.88 and a 4.9% increase in RevPAR to $116.78.